what's up guys today we'll be doing an unboxing and first impressions so to speak not exactly first but yeah second impressions would be a fair statement of uh, valentino uomo the original the ett the one that kick started it all and i'm going to give you my thoughts on how it compares to dior home line right especially dior home original and dior home intense so let's get into it uh trusty knife here today i'm just going to unbox the thing directly without any uh headache every time one goes to unbox this it's issues but anyway uh let's see what the packaging is like first uh keeping these aside yeah so this is the box this is set up in of course but this is 100 ml 3.4 fluid ounces uh it's got a very slight texture to it as you can see it's a little raised so this has a bit of texture to it not exactly flush but yeah it is a cardboard box yeah th this is the texture i'm talking about like a uh, bit of diamond like texture so here is the batch code for anyone interested i believe these were redesigned a while back when l'oreal uh, acquired valentino the brand so these are now made in france let's see uh does it say anywhere on the box yeah it says made in france over here it they used to be made in uh spain this is inside the box nothing extraordinary but yeah whatever it is what it is keeping this aside time to move the phone yeah keeping this aside coming to the presentation it's a very nice presentation again here is the batch code as you can see it should match up with the one on the box right these the information on the back of the sticker regarding the fragrance made in france as you can see uh yeah this is a very iconic bottle the spikes i guess i don't know what else to call this originally this bottle didn't have a cap and the atomizer would be black there was a collar here which was black in color and it had a protective layer on top but yeah this is the repackaged version as you can see there's a valentino logo inside it uh it's not a very heavy cap but it is what it is is the atomizer let's do the first spray this is a metal flag by the way anyway good atomizer as you can see fair bit of juice this is a fantastic fragrance coming to why this is so special uh this was composed originally by olivier polch who as uh, some of you may be knowing is the composer of the original dior home the one that came out in 2025 sorry 2005 living in the future <laughs> this is the 2011 formulation but from what i hear it is not very not very different from the 2005 version right of course dior is the king of sprayers just that light tap <laughs> not that this is any bad but yeah nothing compares to dior right the spreads now both of them have the same perfumer the reason i bought this i had no intention of buying this uh and the one that gets all the hype is the intense version but the reason i bought this is i went to the mall with a friend of mine recently for some other purchasing something else entirely just came across this and just happened to smell this but uh, I was shocked how at how 
close it is to the original DRM. Uh, this is now discontinued and has been rebranded in uh, European Union and it is only available there. It's called DRM original. So I'm not exactly keen on uh, using up my bottle uh, fast. Although this is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. This is extremely close to the original Diorum. Now, you might be thinking, anyone I thought, uh, it, it must have iris, right? If it is close to the original iconic iris scent. Well, it turns out it does not. <laughs> what it does have is bergamot in the opening, which you get a bit of it, but it just fades away like that. And it has hazelnut, chocolate, and roasted coffee, I believe, in the mid, and leather and cedar in the try down, in the base, right? So what you get mostly from this is that chocolate, uh, hazelnut, nutty hazelnut vibe, which is also present, the chocolate cacao is present in the original Diorum, and to some extent in both of these, it's Diorum Perform and Diorum Intense. However, Diorum Perform is in completely different league and there are different, a lot of differences between these two because this has oud and rose in it. Uh, this has nothing of the sort. The quality of this is like a niche fragrance. And uh, so leaving that aside, another iris fragrance I have is uh, Mask Milano by La Tessa, but this is entirely a, a different take on Iris and it has no similarities whatsoever to Diorum or uh, any of the Iris fragrances we know. So this is considered to be one of the best Iris fragrances by a lot of people. It smells almost exactly like the inside of a makeup box. It's quite unisex, but you have to be able to uh, pull it off to enjoy it but yeah coming back to the topic this is similar to this and this to some extent only in the chocolatey vibe which is more leaning towards Diorum Intense and but otherwise leaving this aside even it's quite close to the original Diorum so if you like this fragrance and you can't find it because they've discontinued and released a new fragrance as year 2020 you may want to grab this because this comes quite close i'm not too sure about this is a lovely fragrance not too sure about the performance on this because i've just smelled it once and this is my second time just unboxing it and smelling it but i believe the far dry down would be somewhat different from your own because this has leather and cedar in it, right? Both of them should go in a woody direction, but the leather, I'm not quite sure how it will develop on this. I'm sure it is not the kind of leather uh, that is in, let's say, ombre leather, but this should be, I mean, at least 80% similar to your own. If you want to, this is warm enough to the point where it evokes the feeling of iris without actually having iris which is why I actually bought it. It's quite a unique composition in that sense. So if you're curious and say you don't like iris fragrances and you want to try out or you like the DNA, you find it interesting of Diorum or Diorum Intense, but you're not too sure about the iris because it smells like, uh, it smells like makeup to put it bluntly. Uh, you may want to try this. This is basically Diorum without any iris. It's a very nutty, woody fragrance with uh, leather in the base. So yeah, I mean, you can get a pretty good deal on this too if you buy it in, with discounters, right? So that's about it. Quick video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Peace out.